What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can create this dope kaleidoscope, rotoscope effect inside of After Effects. Let's go. Shout out to Diamond Visuals. This effect was inspired by the Georgiana Walk Sauce video. Diamond crushed it again on this one. And I honestly think it's really cool. This actually reminds me of the Ski Mask Catch Me Outside video by Cole Bennett. And he did this like really crazy, like laser trippy effect. I think this is a really cool like recreation of that. And also just in a more like clean minimalist uh, style of the effect. So now I'm inside of After Effects. I have some stock footage loaded up. I have some footage of somebody walking just like this. And then I also have a shot of a city. I download these clips for free on pixels by the way people always ask like oh how do i uh, test or like just practice on, on music video footage you can actually go to pexels.com uh, it's a free website, free stock website. You can download all sorts of free footage. Really dope. I really recommend it. First thing you are going to do is you are going to rotoscope. Now, if you don't know how to rotoscope, we do have a tutorial linked right here. It's very, very simple. I mean, you just click on the roto brush icon right here. You double click this and you color over your subject. I already rotoscoped my subject just to save time. But if you want to check out that video, it's linked right here. It's a really easy tutorial. Recommend it. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to load up our city clip. Now, there's two effects that you want to apply. First is a warp stabilizer. And the reason being so is because this is the effect that's going to create like the very uh, warpy trippy ish effect now once you apply warp stabilizer and click analyze it's going to give you two results first up it's going to give you the smooth motion result uh, now if you have a really good clip honestly this one might work but if you want a more trippy result you can go here to result hit the drop down smooth motion and click no motion and this way you'll get this really really trippy like i don't know after effects is trying to like stabilize the entire shot even though it's moving and i think that's when you get some really cool results if you get the error that says like extreme cropping like don't recommend it just go ahead and like i don't know increase or decrease the length of the clip and then reanalyze it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't after that what you're going to do is you're going to go to effects again and you're going to search for mirror and we're going to apply this twice actually or you can just hit command d on the effect but first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the first mirror effect and then we're going to go to the reflection center and drag that all the way to the center by dragging the x coordinate so now i'm going to drag my playhead to the very beginning of the clip right here i'm going to hit the keyframe icon on reflection center very very important now you're just going to go ahead and hit the drop down on that clip and then just make sure you open up the drop down for mirror you should see the keyframe icon and go to the very end of the clip now and you're just going to adjust that center all the way back to the uh, end or just like the original uh, position of it now if you play it out you see we get this weird like kaleidoscope effect now what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing for the other mirror and this time we're actually going to adjust the reflection angle so i'm actually set the reflection angle to 90 maybe if you do it at, like a diagonal one you can also get some cool effects oh actually i might actually do this this is this is kind of cool too <laughs> and honestly you see how this is kind of playing out you can really just go ahead and duplicate this mirror as many times as you want if i add a third mirror i can do the exact same thing as well maybe i'll do the angle like this other way and yeah now we're getting a really crazy like kaleidoscope looking effect but yeah i honestly just mess around with it have fun with it now i'm going to turn the visibility back on of my top layer with the uh the rotoscope shoes and tada there you pretty much have it a baseline of the effect but as you know no effect is done on 11% tutorial without extra effects. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go right here. I'm going to hit command shift D to split it. And then on this last, wait, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this top clip with the, the rotoscope feet. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this top clip with the rotoscope walking clip and I'm going to hit command shift D to split the layer. And then on this second layer, not the first one, but the second one right here, I'm going to select the roto brush and delete it. And that way we have this really cool effect where it just kind of goes in and out of the effect. So I'm going to actually go ahead and hit file export. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit file. I'm going to hit export. I'm going to render it. Now bear with me. I'm going to hop into Premiere Pro real quick. I know this is an After Effects tutorial, but just promise I'll, I'll make it worth your time. Inside of Premiere Pro right here, I'm going to go here. So now we're inside of Premiere Pro right here. I have my clip loaded up. This is the finished final effect. And I also brought in the music track from the Georgiana music video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some camera shakes to spice it up, but I'm not going to do it the simple, boring, old way. I'm actually going to go over here to Window. I'm going to hit Extensions. I'm going to hit Auto Edit, which is a new plugin that we're developing. And the reason why I'm doing all this and going to Premiere Pro is because it actually has this really cool feature where you can actually go ahead and upload the music track right here. And the reason why I'm doing all this and going to Premiere Pro is because it actually has this really cool feature where you can go ahead and upload the music track right here and then you can hit this auto sequence button and my hands are off the keyboard watch look at that 
automatically it has added beat detection markers at every significant beat on the song so now i know exactly where i can add camera shakes honestly i think it's really cool especially for music video editors we're basically editing to the beat so why not have ai do that for you so now that we have all of our beat detection markers added you might just think of the old way to add visual effects you just go to your effects and search for like a camera shake preset or whatever but actually there's a really cool feature right here it's called the ai visual effects adder and basically what it allows you to do there's a manual mode and ai version but i'm going to use the ai version version today it allows you to add any type of effect so we have like camera shakes paint crt mixed media etc and you can go ahead and just select whichever ones you want we're just gonna do camera shakes for today but uh, it has this really cool feature where you can increase the effect intensity and basically this means however many beat detection markers there are it's gonna add an effect at like all of them or just some of them or just like a portion of them and that just is what the effect intensity bar is and then once you're done with all that just go ahead and hit the apply visual effects button and just watch my hands are off the keyboard this is super cool it is automatically generating effects and camera shakes at every significant beat marker or at like the midpoint of each beat marker and just like that boom it is added camera shakes to our video clip without us even doing anything which i honestly think is really cool especially saves you a lot of time especially if you're doing like these music videos often so yeah that's the effect for today hope you guys found something useful um also if you want to check out this auto edit plugin right here uh it's available for pre-order i've linked down to it below so yeah that's the effect hope you found something useful today if you want to learn five underrated music video effects to use inside of after effects or premiere pro you can check out this video linked right here